What's going on guys? Welcome back to video number 55. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep it going with our form validation. Okay, so in this video, let's go ahead and create, well, we haven't really finished running this test yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an array right here that does not have a value yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just go ahead and call it error or errors. I'll call it errors because there's probably going to be more than one. It's probably going to be plural. Let's go ahead and just call it an array and we'll close it out right there. And then inside here, I want to test for our menu, our first information table, or our first category field in our information table. So let's go ahead and give it these brackets right here, even though we're not indexing anything right now because we don't have an error, or we don't have an error yet. Then we're going to set this equal to menu and let's go ahead and close that out. Okay, so again we're using if else statements to test for errors. Now I want to go ahead and do another if else statement to what do I want to do? I want to go ahead and like um, like if we don't properly fill out a category field, I want it to shoot back. You know, sometimes if you're trying to fill out a form, it'll either redirect you to another page or if you leave it empty, it'll um, you'll submit it and it'll shoot back like like uh, required fields and red font, you know, with asterisks letting you know that you need to fill those fill those fields in. Well, let's go ahead and test for that now. So I'll go ahead and create another if else statement, and I'm going to call this if this is not empty with errors. Oh, I got a text message. Who's this? All right, never mind. Can't play soccer today. Okay, where were we? Errors. Okay, so what do we want to execute? I want to go ahead and I want to go ahead and redirect it to another page. So again, the PHP function for that is we are going to use header. And I just want for the time being just to test to see if this is going to run properly. I just want to redirect it back to we'll just do the same page right now. And I'll go ahead and close that out. And since we're using the header function, we need to exit out of that because I don't want our code to run if there's an error here I just want it to die remember die and exit are the exact same things okay so now let me go ahead and save this and let's go to our back here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna fill this in right here I'm gonna leave this category or this form blank and I'm gonna go ahead and click five or six and I'm gonna click yes Okay, perfect. So this we stayed on the same page. If you guys are having a problem getting to this page, if this if there's like a PHP error that says like warning, um, you cannot output because you've already output. That means you need to change your PHP.ini file. So how we would do that is we need to source our ini file. So just go to Zamp, um, etc. Our shortcut right here. We're gonna right click on this and we're gonna open it up with TextMate. Where is it? And open it up in my external browser. Okay, now scroll down. Okay, from the top. So again, our php.ini file is our pretty much just like our configuration file. So we need to go down to output buffering and turn it to on. If yours, if yours, if this shot back in air, that means this was on off. So set it to on and then save it. But for it to work properly, you need to open up our Apache or whatever server you're on, stop it, and then restart it. So we can close that out, save that, that's good to go. Okay, so what we did here is all we did is we just, if you input this in our form right here, it's just going to read up, redirect us back to this page anyway. So if you guys are this far, then you guys are on the same path. And for the PHP INI thing, remember back when we were doing, what was it? We had header down here, and it wasn't letting us redirect back to our content.php page. That's because I had, on my php.ini file, I had output buffering turned off. That just means if there's already HTML being run, then we need to turn output buffering on so PHP can output properly. So hopefully this made sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know because I kind of rushed this video a little bit. But pause the video, look at this, and uh, good luck. We'll see you guys in the next video.